is TJ with Robin Hood Coins, and I have my little helpers here for a little while. And we're going to be going through four boxes of quarters. We're going to be looking for silver, West Points, proofs, varieties, anything to add to our collection. And hopefully we have something really good for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, to enter the giveaway, just give a comment on the video, and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So with that, let's get into these rolls. All right, this is my second roll. And I have a W, and it was the Ender. All right, and you so haven't seen it yet? I haven't seen it. So I... Let's see what it is. All right, come on, come on. War in the Pacific. That is great. And it's a pretty nice one, too. Look at that. Good job, baby. Thanks. All right, we're on roll 47, and I found a proof. That is great. Look at that. There it is, San Francisco proof. What is it? What? It's a Wisconsin. Very cool. Man, you are finding all the good stuff tonight. We are all done with box number one, and it wasn't a bad box. We ended up with one West Point. It was a war in the Pacific. We've been finding those pretty consistently, one every other box or so. And then we also had that Wisconsin San Francisco proof. Uh, underneath the light here, you can see the uh, frosting is a lot better than, than it looked earlier. But, so that was really cool. Glad that my wife found that. And we still have three boxes to go. The next box up is more of the Loomis rolls. So hopefully we can get some West Points or maybe even a silver. I just double checked and we have not gotten a silver in eight boxes. So before this hunt. So that would be nine, 10, 11, 12, if we don't get another silver. So hopefully one of these boxes will have a silver. We are all done with box number two, and unfortunately we didn't have any West Points proofs or silver. We did have a really nice looking 1973. Nothing, nothing special about it, except for I don't usually find them in this good a condition. So I'm gonna set it aside because I'm still working on my Washington collection, so. And then we also found this one that it really looks painted, like a silver paint, almost sparkly. Um, hopefully it wasn't painted so that it could be passed off as silver, but um, just really interesting. I don't know if you can, can see it in the, in the camera, but man, it does look like someone painted it silver. So there's our discards, and I think we're gonna switch over to the tall boxes, and then we'll save that last Loomis box for last. So let's see what we can find in here. Talk about a little last roll look. My wife and I are working on roll 49 and roll 50, and my wife just handed me this San Francisco proof right here. It is a Mississippi, it's pretty worn, so it's really hard to see any frosting left on it or cameo, but it is a San Francisco proof Mississippi coin. Got to love that. Two proofs in three boxes is pretty good for us. And then I'll check this under the scope because it looks like a very, very weak D mint mark. Um, probably just a grease error, but uh, I'll check it under the scope anyway. We are all done hunting through box number three, and this is most of the discards right there. It was a pretty tough box, except for right there at the very end, my wife found that Mississippi State Quarter, San Francisco proof. That was really cool. And the good news is we are back to the Loomis rolls, so hopefully we can get some silver or West Points in there. If we don't get a silver, this will make 12 in a row of no silver. But hopefully that doesn't happen. The, the Loomis rolls have been pretty good for us. So with that, let's get into them. We are on roll 22 and I found something that was a little interesting. We have a coin that is thicker than all the rest. I don't know if it's a foreign or if it's just really worn down or, or messed up, but I figured we would get it and look at it together. Oh, it's not a foreign. What is wrong with it? Look at that. The edge is just super thick. Whoa, look at that. I don't wonder what that is. 
And I don't know if it's like a capped die or, I mean, I don't think it is because I think a capped die, the other side of the coin would be really um, no detail. It'd be really faint and messed up. And then one side would have a lot of detail because it got stuck in the die. But I don't know, look at the edge around the coin on that one. Just interesting. And I dropped it. But interesting find nonetheless. We are all done with box number four and now it's time for the second hunt. These are all the coins that we set aside to check for varieties. So let's get these into the scope and see what we find. So I'm looking at the 1976 Denver and I was looking for the DDO on Liberty and it doesn't have it. This one does not have that. But I also went and looked at the date and I noticed something that I've never seen before. There is a line on both sides of almost all of the numbers. See right here on the left side of the six, uh, right here on the seven, and you could barely see it on the right hand of the seven but um, the other ones will be able to see it better. And then even on the one, you can see on the right-hand side, there's a line. And then on the left-hand side down it, there's a line. And then again on 1976, and one of the ones that I thought was most obvious was this seven right here. You see the line on the side here, and then a distinct line there, and then both sides of the one. And then I have another coin that is also in pretty nice shape and but this one you don't see any of that any of the lines on there and so i don't know if that is just machine doubling on that other coin but it just was weird i figured i'd share it and see if anyone has ever seen anything like that or heard of anything like that most of the machine doublings and double dies that i've seen are just like on on one side um and so I don't, I just don't know what this is. And I figured I'd see if anyone else knows what did this um, or what it is. Here is a 2005 Philadelphia, Kansas. And it's another In God We Rust error where the T is almost non-existent. You can see the uh, line of the T right here and in the crossbar on the left. Uh, but this one, the R is slightly weak of a strike as well. But... Um, these are pretty common. I found several of them, but I still pluck them out whenever I find them. Well, here's the overall wrap up. We ended up with a couple good finds. We had the West Point War in the Pacific that my wife found early on in the hunt. That was really cool. And it's in pretty nice shape for being in it out of circulation like it is. Then we had the Wisconsin proof. That was nice. We needed that for our collection. So that is really exciting. Do not have that one yet. And it was in decent shape. Still got a lot of that mirror finish. We found that painted coin, which was interesting. Found that 1973, which is better than the 73 that I already had um, set aside. 73 Denver, that is. And we had another proof. This time it was a Mississippi uh, proof coin right there, San Francisco. We had that Virginia coin that just had the really flattened edge, um, just looked really odd, especially when it was in the roll. I noticed it right away. Uh, let me know what you think that caused that or did that damage. And then we had the In God We Rust Kansas State Quarter, as well as the Bicentennial that I showed in the Under the Scope that just had that weird... I think it's probably machine doubling. I just have never seen machine doubling on both sides of the, of the letter or number. So, so that was really interesting. But regardless, it's in pretty good shape um, for 1976. So that's pretty cool. But all in all, it was a pretty good hunt. It was decent. It wasn't the best. I wish we had found silver. But there's always next time. Well, we need those proofs for our collection, so the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be the War in the Pacific West Point right here. And like I said, it was in decent shape, so that's pretty cool. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video. We'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. Well, that was a tough hunt, but it was still fun because I had my wife helping me out. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. If you enjoy our content, hit subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways.
And with that, we will see you on the next hunt.